presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Folks, uh, I'm going to tell a little story about my childhood. When I was about five years old, when I was living with my grandma during World War II for two years while my father was in the service, my mother was uh, building airplanes up there in the south side of Chicago, the Spitfires, and I'll be doggone, uh, still remember those days. <laughs> anyway, my grandma used to set me there in the chair and feed me my oatmeal in the morning, and she says, and pat me on the head, she says, now look, you're not the sharpest knife in the drawer. So God blessed you with overabundance of good looks that everybody that can see me here has maintained over these past 82 years. But what you have to do is you got to take things really slow. So when you want to try to figure something out, think of something that would make sense. And all I'm doing now, folks, is I'm trying to do that, trying to do what my grandma told me. So I'm looking at bank stocks. This is the regional index. You see that line up here at the top, boys and girls, from four and a half weeks ago? Do you remember Jim Bartoleone coming on and telling us and say, hey, look at this 382 on the weekly with the 135 pattern. This thing's ready to go down. And look how much it's gone down. The bad news is, folks, stock market up 300 points and 350 points in the Dow at one time. Everything was up strong. And look look at this thing. has not even been able to stay, out, stay up on the day. Something is not right. Jeff Huge was just on saying the same thing. So what I'm doing is I'm watching these bank stocks. They're not acting very well. In 2008, the same thing that was happening. Bernanke was telling us everything is okay. Yep, you looked at the price of Lehman Brothers and you looked at the price of Bear Stearns, not doing the same thing, right? Okay, one of the one of the best brokers, what they call a premier broker for Bear Stearns, was Jeff Asoff. Jeff has been a family friend since the time he was 16. He went to school with Robert Downey Jr. there in Santa Monica. I used to go over there and have coffee in the morning before we went off to uh, Cedar sinai Medical Center. And Downey wasn't even a movie star. He was doing bit parts at that time. But um, Jeff wanted to go into either insurance or finance. And he went into finance. I got him a job at Bear Stearns. And he ended up being their number two guy in the whole world. And he's he has his own firm now. But uh, when that stock was 130, Jeff had just bought a $4 million home in Beverly Hills and tore it down to build a bigger one. I thought his dad was going to jump out the window. It's a beautiful home that he had, but his wife wanted something, a two-door instead of a ranch style. <laughs> anyway, he was making so much money, it didn't make any didn't make any difference. But when that stock got to 130, uh, I, I told him, I said, Jeff, you got to lock in something up here, buddy. I said, could something really bad? He said, I was thinking of doing that. He said, what I'm going to do, he said, I'm going to put on puts for one year. And he said, you know, if I can make it through that, then I'll be okay. By putting on those puts, he saved everything. Uh, I think about the 90% of what he had. I mean, it went to $2 a share. He got out about 120 So uh, it was really nice to see that he was able to go through that. But the reason why I'm telling you that, folks, is to trade what you see, not what you think. And you think that I don't have trouble with that? Just look what I just did in the soybeans. I bought soybeans uh, 10 cents from the low and wrote them up for 60 cents and got out because I thought I could take a profit and buy them back on a pullback because of a report that was coming out. Well, the report came out, all right, and they turned it upside down, and the market moved another 60 cents. And I'm out of it. You know, made a nice profit, should be happy, which I am. But look how much I left on the table. And that number is one of those fear of missing out, fear of leaving money on the table. That's hard to break, folks. And I'm watching them all the time because what I'm doing now is I will get back in these. Unless this market never corrects and it goes up forever, which I don't think it will because the November soybeans are, are up but not nearly as much as the July. So I know I have a chance to get in. So I'm watching that chance. And that's what I'm that's what I'm trying to do as I look at some of these things. As I do the stuff for the 24-7, I remember, you know, the, a lot of small traders are out there doing this stuff. And so I have to be really careful with the types of trades that I try to put on. And that's what I look for. We have one going on right now that we've been waiting on for 
<laughs> well over a month and a half, and it finally came true Sunday night. We finally had our move uh, down into the uh, natural gas. It got all the way down to our level at 204. The low was 201.90. Uh, we're only trading a little above. I think we're at 209 now. So all we're doing, we're going to leave our stop in there at 1.94 because we could go down one more time to, to make one more final bottom. And maybe we'll, maybe we won't. All I know is now we have a total risk control of everything that we're going to, to look at. Now, today, when the market hit 204, it ran up to 217. Well, that's 13 handles. And, you know, you think that would be enough, but no. This should be a major, major move here. So you've got to try to set with it a little bit longer. And you know what your risk is. That's the one thing you know 100%. You know what your risk is. You're risking 10 points. Maybe it gaps down below it. I maybe could. I don't know. But at least you got a place to say, this is where I'm going to call Uncle. And then if you get stopped out, you got to wait for the next pattern. That's, that's all you're doing with pattern recognition swing traders. You've got to be able to understand what the patterns are and when they fail. And they do fail, and you can't stand in front of it. You remember the pattern that we bought on this at 287, the beautiful ABCD 1.618 expansion at 287, and we had a stop at 277. We were in that trade a total of about an hour and get stopped out of it. and went from 277, where we got stopped out, all the way down to 1.93, folks. You know, you're going to sell with a $7,000 loss thinking you're going to bounce back. Hello, operator. You might be in this thing for two and a half years. You don't know what the answer to that is going to be. That's for sure. Now, what one of the things I'm going to be able to cover now that I've got two hours a day here uh, for this uh, all this week, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, is I want to cover some of the things that uh, John Hill uh, taught me. And uh, I don't you know, I, they're in some of his books. I, I know the things that I've been, I talked, I happened to mention dynamite triangles in one of the videos, and I set off a firestorm of uh, how do I get more information on it. And I, all I'm going to do is to just to try to show you what I'm talking about here. This is the uh, July soybean chart. We'll get it up here, and you'll be able to see where I made the error of my ways. I'll say there's where we go here. Okay, here is where I made my error right here. This was the air part right there because I we bought it perfectly right down here, and I thought for sure we were going to get a pullback in here, and we didn't. And you can see where we went. Uh, we went above here today. We backed off a little bit, but we're up six days in a row now, so I assume we're going to get it. But all these all these things are, as you look at, these are flags. Uh, John called them dynamite triangles. This was also a name. I believe it was either Schaubacher or Wyckoff called them dynamite triangles. I've got so many books here that I don't know which one it's in. I'm going to try to remember which one it's in. Twentyman's going to try to help me. But uh, I'm going to try to find it. And if I can find it, then I'll give you the definition. But it's basically a flag. As you can see, the market goes up on an hourly chart. It goes sideways. This is only good if you have a machine in front of you and you can see the prices during the day. If you see these at the end of the day, it's pretty difficult. But you'll notice each one of these is about a day's range or a day's time so that you can look at it for the next day. So if you got a day like this and it pops above it, fine. Here's one that didn't work. You see it popped above it. Then it had another one, and boom, away it went. So they don't work all the time. Nothing works all the time. you got to remember that when you're doing these things, that these things don't work all the time. Hard to believe, isn't it? But it's the truth. We'll be right back, 877-927-6648. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously 
When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating Investors. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I put up the chart here from Alan Smith over there in the UK. He was kind enough to send it over. This is a picture, four hour of the beautiful three drive to a bottom pattern you can see here in the natural gas uh, that has this over a 10 day period. So symmet the symmetry is just about spot on. You can see the final ABCD coming down in here at 204, low, low being 20190. We got as high as 217. The last I saw it was 208 or something. So it could easily go here and fail. If it gets below that, you know, your your risk here is so small that, you know, you just you just stand aside and wait to see the next one. I originally put the stop at 194, but then I said, gee, that's silly if we go down and makes a new low. Uh, I can look at it another time. So now what I've done is to put my stop in at the low of the day at 20190. And if it gets hit, I'm out a total of 100 bucks will not change the way I'm trading today for sure, but that's what we're watching. Now, he sent a couple others that were really interesting. Uh, one is, uh, we have to send this one over to our good friend, Tom Hugard, Trader Tom, because he likes symmetry much like we do. And as you can see on this chart here, we have a double ABCD pattern forming, and we made a new high. The, it measured up to a new high, which we did. We didn't go any higher than that. But you can see you had the bigger ABCD pattern here, and then the smaller one right there. And at the same time, the Dow Jones had made the 61, and the uh, S&P had made the perfect ABCD. So, well, not perfect, close. But anyway, those are the ones that uh, this might be a really key day. And uh, remember, we've got a full moon coming up here. Uh, here on the 5th, which is uh, uh, on Wednesday. But then the big thing, of course, is the uh, eclipse. We have a new moon and an eclipse, which will be on the 18th of uh, uh, April. So that'll be really interesting. Remember, this is a shortened week because the Holy Week, uh, we're going to be what's well, a shortened day on Thursday and then all day off on Friday. So it's going to be a very interesting week. Now, 
We also want to take a look at the FTSE here because the FTSE uh, is far, far below where the DAX was, as it should, because the economy over there is in relatively disarray, much like ours is. But uh, you'll notice that we've had a rally back uh, to the, almost to the 61% retracement. It hasn't quite hit it as of yet. It might later today, given the fact that we were strong early, but since that time has uh, seen it back off. Uh, a little bit from from that level so we want to watch that uh, very very closely also also I wanted to bring your attention to what's happening uh, over in China I want to bring it because they're talking about how wonderfully bullish everything is in China here at Bloomberg I was listening this morning that uh, the trend is up and it certainly is over the past uh, six or seven months but you know all we're, we're seeing is lower highs in here uh, basically, what we're looking at, we're making a 382 retracement now uh, in the uh, Chinese market. That doesn't mean it can't go, you know, sharply higher, but that's what we're paying attention uh, there also. And then since we're this close to China, we ought to take over or get on the old uh, bullet train and go over and take a look at what's going on in Hong Kong. So let me get that one up here and you'll be able to see it's got just an absolutely technical picture of a beautiful chart i mean my goodness it's got every a b c d every retracement pretty much spot on you can see the the major bottom that was down here we had that big uh, bottom right here on right there at 14,000 and change we rallied all the way up here backed off stopped right here and now we're having a 382 retracement this is going to be key because we came down and we made a 50 percent retracement of the low and now we've taken about 10 days to get to this 382 retracement because if we can't get above that and if we can't get above that then all hands on deck because if we break down below this the fact that this trend is down quite substantially over the past uh, couple of years, this means that we could be going uh, even lower. Whether that pulls our market lower or not, I don't know. But all I'm saying is that if it gets strong, that's a factor that you could see. Now, I talked about this on the other show, but this is the really key chart to look at, folks. This is Apple. And going back over the last six months, you're going to see a, uh-oh, shut the front door and raise the rent. Let's get it up here so we can see it. Sorry, folks, I hit the wrong button. There we go. And you'll be able to see. Uh, <laughs> I'm thinking of you, Al. <laughs> okay, you can see the beautiful 1, 3, 5 pattern here. You've got 1, 3, and 5. Perfect symmetry. 78% retracements. Uh, the key level here is at uh, 165. We've been to 165 and 3 quarters today. The last I saw, we were trading just a little under 165. Any move above that 167 level would tell us this is a failure of that 135 pattern, and these markets could go a whole lot higher. This being the one that most people own, I think this is owned by more than, more than any other stock. So, and then they've got millions and millions of shares of it out there. So, I'm not surprised that it isn't. But boy, what a what a success story it's been for heaven's sakes. Okay, let's move on. We had one other one that we needed to show you. Then we got a break coming up here in just a second. And uh, I've got some things on the uh, next part of the show related to trading that you folks might to like. But I want to point out to the fact that this is the uh, chart of uh, the Russell 2000 today. I wanted to get up here because uh, this was all going crazy early this morning. And you'll notice here that we hit the 382 retracement of the high we made in February. Again, you can see the perfect symmetry coming in today. Uh, the last I saw, the Russell was still down on the day. Uh, I haven't checked it for more than an hour, but it uh, hit that. It took out the previous day's low and been trading below that uh, 1806 level, which is a key level. If we close above 1810, then this is not any. There's not anything bearish about this at all. It's just the fact that it pulled back from a 382 retracement. From looking at it from a technical standpoint, but if it reverses and closes, you know, down around eight, around 1770, uh, somewhere in that ballpark, then that's something different because the Nasdaq was weak, the Russell was weak, and it was only the Dow Jones pulling everything up, along with the S&P getting up to that 4157 uh, level. So that's what pattern recognition is all about, folks. You try to narrow it down to a spot where you can say, yep, this might be it, and maybe it isn't, but you just pays your money and you takes your choice. Sit in the high chair of your loved grandmother and let her teach you the ways of life, folks, because the secret of life 
is one thing, and 90% of it is just showing up. Because if you keep showing up, you're bound to get a break. And that's what pattern recognition is all about, putting the odds in your favor. And that's hopefully what we try to do here at 24-7 Fibonacci Live. Trade what you see, not what you think. And that's a real hard thing to do sometimes, but that's it. When we get back, I'm going to share some things with uh, that John Hill taught me that may be helpful to you. I don't use some of them anymore, but people are asking me about them. And so I want to be able to do that. I'm going to leave you with the chart here of Bitcoin because it's made a 382 retracement of the high a year and a half ago. And uh, someone said that it was up 70% on the year. Folks, if you owned it at 67,000 and didn't get out and they told you it was up 70% on the year and you're only trading at 28,000, does that make you feel any better? Hello, operator. I don't think so. Johnny's got his thumbs down. He says, doesn't make me feel better, but Johnny's not in it. Let's take a break. 877-927-6648. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, I've been asked to uh, walk through that soybean trade that I made the mistake on. I bought it right, folks. We bought it here at... Uh, uh, 15, 1392 is where we bought it, 1392. The low was 1384, we were risking 10 cents, so we almost got stopped out. When it got up to the 382 here, which was 60 cents higher, and a report was coming out, we got out on Monday, the report was due on Thursday, and of course the report came out and it exploded to the upside. This was as where we were uh, 
Uh, as of Sunday, we did get up to the 61% retracement up here at that $5. We hit $5, $15 beans today, which is up a full uh, $5,000 from the place where we bought them. We took 3000 out of the 5000 So what we have to do now is we have to look for a $0.40 cent pullback, hopefully the 3A2 pattern with a nice ABCD to get back in. People ask me, is it hard to get over this? It is until somebody from Mississippi, <laughs> but Vicksburg, Mississippi, called in and said, please explain to me what you did in the soybeans. Because in the video that I sent out when we bought the things and they started so good, stopped right there on the second day. And I said in the video, I said, no matter what you do, don't let me convince you to get out of these. Hold on. And what I did was I let that 382 convince me to get out of, and the fact that the report was coming out, which I don't like to go into reports, but the report was not that bullish, wasn't that bearish, but you can see what happened is demand came in for soybeans, and we've had a pretty good run. Now, we are going to back off sometime, but how much, what we're going to be looking at, I don't know, but we're going to switch over to the November contract for two reasons. One, it's going to be affected also, because if you've got beans at $2 a bushel higher now, than the ones that are not even planted yet. What happens if some of those beans that are planted don't want to come to fruition, don't uh, you know flower like they should? They'll make up that $2 a bushel very, very quickly. Plus the amount at risk here, because they're $2 a bushel less, is less with the November. So we're gonna be trading the November bush, November soybeans. That's the reasoning behind it. Okay, now let's get back to something that um, I, I posted on, on a, unintentionally but it it, it hit a uh, hit a nerve and that is about these uh, these flags and pennants and stuff I'm gonna I showed you the one on the on the soybeans I'm going to show you one on silver now and it's basically nothing more than a flag folks John Hill told me it was called the dynamite triangle I know that for a fact because I saw him uh, trade those things and you can see in really strong trending markets and you can sit in front of the machine when you see the trend line break over a, you know the time of the of the retracement and stuff that's it you're going to have some losses in here but boy when you get a run they really go when they break above these lines folks and these are just valid trend lines where the trend is going down all of a sudden it changes that's what that flag is for <clears throat> not many people cover that it's covered in gartley's uh, gartley's work but he doesn't use he, he shows a few of the exam i'll give you a couple of examples but he doesn't show you you know where to enter or anything like that he just basically let's where is this darn thing here it is let's get over here take a look at it you'll be able to see what i'm talking about here it is right here you let me blow it up so we can see it together this is right out of gartley's book but he doesn't point out that you want to buy it or sell it when that trend line is broken because it's a valid trend line you see the bottom part of the flag here you can see it's a pennant a pennant or flag flags pennant pennants go sideways flags go up or down so this is a pennant and you can see right here, there's where it breaks, right here. And then down it comes. Now, when this thing breaks and it doesn't go down, then you have to realize that that's a failed pattern and you got to have your stop right above here. So what it does is it, it amount, keeps your risk extremely small, but it does something else. Johnny's raising his hand. It forces you to trade with the trend, doesn't it? And that's what it's all about. I'm going to do a couple other of these since we're looking at this uh, because the Gardley had some wonderful things in here, you know, take a look at it. Now, this is one uh, where it's described in uh, Andrew Lowe's work uh, with pennants and flags because, you know, he wrote his book, The Non-Random Walk Down Wall Street. Many of these, pat well, all these patterns are covered in Gartley's work here. And as you can see here, uh, these are nothing more than, than how the market ma make, makes these pennant formations like here. When it breaks out of these pennants, that's what usually tells you you're going in the direction, okay? Now, remember, a flag, you're going to go like this or like this. A pennant, you're going to make a pennant just like they have at the baseball stadiums. You know, just that's why it, where it gets its name. And so, anyway, that's, that's what, what they did for Andrew Lowe's book. They mathematically quantified these spots here so that once they went above a certain spot, it was a, it was a pennant that failed or a pennant that moved on to the next level. And that's what that whole book was about. They looked at, uh, what, 300, uh, 800,000 stock charts from 1962 to 1996 and verified that these patterns, they do have predictability and they repeat over and over again. And that's what we see. 
every day here. It's always the same thing. Now we're going to take a look at one or two more here because I think they're important. Now this is the this is a trend channel. We'll get this up here. They've got a lot of different names for them, but basically this is nothing more than multiple A, B, C, D patterns coming together here. He's got all kinds of little notations on it, but frankly, you just have a parallel channel and everything is A, B, C, D, folks. A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D. That's all we're looking at. And you know where that comes from? That comes directly from Mr. Benoit Mandelbrot in his... Uh, talk of fractal analysis and we use that all the time with our ABCD patterns because those are the ones that really count and so that's what we're paying very very close attention to here today so I hope that helps I want to do uh, one or two more and then I've got a couple of examples that I wrote together to show you where you are but this figure from uh, figure 22 is a very important one because it really gives you an idea of how the flag or pennant is broken and what you can look for as far as the downside. And uh, these are, you know, once you get used to using it, yes, it does work pretty well, but by golly, you know, they don't work all the time, and you've got to do one at a time. That's all you can do. I'm going to do one more before the break comes up, and then we'll, do, we'll move on and cover a few other little things here. And this is pretty much the same thing of, uh, of the, this is basically a restructuring of the 135 pattern and the ABCD all together. So you'll see here, as you see this, everything is ABCD, folks. You can see ABCD, ABCD, breaking your trend lines, and it's all about risk control. That's what it is, because you don't know which ones are going to work, and you never will. So you got to pay close attention to it, that's for sure. Absolutely, you got to make sure of that. So we're, market's back up, the S&P's back up, I see, the NASDAQ is up. Oh, no, NASDAQ is still down, the Russell is down, uh, Dow Jones is still hanging in there pretty good. And so it looks like it's going to be a pretty good day in the market with the market closing high. We're probably closing a new high ground. Uh, we're only 13, 14 points ahead in, on the S or 13, 14 points ahead from the from the high of the day, which we could make that in a heartbeat. And we're less than uh, 70 points away in the S in the Dow Jones. So most probably they're going to make be making new highs here uh, before uh, the market closes, and that means they'll probably take out those key levels of. Uh, 1150, 41.58 in the S&P, and 38,000 to 33,820 in the Dow Jones uh, Industrial Arf. We're going to take a break. 877-927-6648, I believe. Uh, not quite yet. We got another 45 seconds. A question came in to take a look at Apple. I've already looked at Apple. I posted it in there. If Apple, someone let me know where Apple is trading because if Apple closes above $66.50 a share, that will be a break. And that means this market could go a whole lot higher just looking at Apple. So we'll be right back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. 
Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, I uh, pulled up a uh, chart, an eight-minute chart of the Dow Jones today. You can see we had that big move up where we hit the FIB number, 61% retracement. We came all the way, dropped 300 points, folks. Then we rallied up, and look at the little pullback right at the 382, boy, telling you how bullish it really was. And as you can see here, we're back on our way. Most probably we're going to make another A. B, C, D pattern up here right on the close. So it's going to be very interesting to see if we can make that last 10 points in the Dow Jones that it missed on the first uh, go around, which was 33,826. The number is 28, I believe, from my notes here uh, on my desk. So that's what we're watching here today. Now, uh, someone asked a question uh, about crude oil today. Uh, and I, I will give you an example of what we were looking at here in crude oil. Now, this was given the fact that we had this big announcement of a cutback in oil production, and we had to gap up. And all I was doing, folks, here, and those of you that were following along, I said, look, you have a beautiful Gartley here. And the market hit this level here. It dropped well over a, a dollar and a half to get down into this level right here. Your risk was only 50 pips, so you made three times what you were supposed to do. Then it went up and hit it again, and it's still in the same range. It hasn't taken out the range of early this morning, Sunday night, than what it did here uh, today. So that means the key level to watch here in crude oil, folks, is $82.50 a barrel. That's a 61% retracement of the high three months ago. Remember, this thing was trading at 120 at one time. From 120, it went down to, what, 62, 59, I believe. I don't, can't remember. I know it was really close to 59, if maybe 61 or something like that. So just like in 2019, the same thing happened. Those drones hit it, and they said, oh, we're going to be out of production here for months and months. And the following week, guess what? Production was rolling again. So... How they, what they tell you and what actually happens can be, you know, a really big different thing. So pay close attention uh, to that. Uh, let me get back here. Uh, one other question here that I wanted to bring to your attention because this was really unusual what happened a week ago on the 28th of March. I want to show you the relationship between the S&P and the Dow Jones at that time because that's when everybody – well, not everybody. That's when the market exploded to the upside. You can see here, no pullback at all here. 
But the Dow Jones, it made a retracement to right at the 382, just like it did today, and now it's you know going higher and higher. So another reason to tell you that these markets, when they go, they can go a very, very long way, and you don't want to stand in front of it. That's the key level to remember. Very, very important. Uh, gold today, uh, I didn't put the chart. I think I did, I did do the chart. Where did I put it? Uh, because it made a beautiful 61% retracement last night down there at the uh, 1963 uh, level and then proceeded to rally, you know, $30 uh, on the upside, for, excuse me, $40 on upside to be above 2000 And I believe we're closing above that level uh, as we uh, look at it right now. I think we are above 2000 aren't we? Uh, we're trading exactly at 2000 uh, High has been 2008 Silver is still down 11 cents on the day, but uh, that's, what we're, that's what we're paying attention to here. Uh, so far uh, today as we're looking at some of these things unfold uh, this morning. So uh, we still got two of the stock indices up. The S&P is up. The uh, Dow Jones is up. The E-mini is, uh, the Russell is down. And the um, uh, NASDAQ is down. Other than that, they're they're holding up pretty good uh, as far as their, their levels hitting. So we're going to watch that as we go through the rest of the day. But with just an hour to go, it looks like a foregone conclusion that we're going to be blasting above those numbers, and we'll see uh, what happens uh, from that level, and we'll go, go from there as we look at them. Okay, now I, I already went through the part about 2019, and that's really important, folks, because that was a perfect example of the news coming out and the market stopping dead in its tracks. Now, I don't know if this is going to be dead in its tracks here, but on the crude oil, watch, watch 82.56, because if we can't get above that, that's telling you that's just a retracement in a bear market. The old high was at you know 120 back in uh, when the war was going on, well, it was still going on in Ukraine. So very, very important to pay close attention to these as we move on. And I had one other question. Someone asked me about the uh, sugar, and uh, we're really at really interesting levels here in sugar, folks. <laughs> I happen to know someone else does a lot of sugar they have about a quarter of a million acres in sugar and you'll see here the sugar cane down in Louisiana Louisiana but anyway there's a beautiful pattern here you can see all the multiple ABCDs I don't know what it's doing today but we completed all of the patterns in sugar here this past week and that's telling us that uh, we should be ready for a, a pretty good uh, correction in the sugar market I haven't seen what it's doing yet today but uh, that should be it. You can see the three drive to a top pattern going right into these highs. And that's also uh, very, very important to pay uh, close attention to. OK, now I had one other the commodity part that I'll let you folks uh, go on to some of these other things that we're watching. And that is the, uh, the June cattle. Uh, we've been paying high prices for beef for quite a while. We've had another run here. We just had a beautiful 61 percent retracement now for the three drive we had. On the upside, that was a really nice short sale, right down to the 61% retracement. And look how it just explodes to the upside, folks. I mean, look, nine, 10 days, just straight up after hitting the 61% retracement. This is what happened to gold last night, folks. We just had a 61% retracement, and boom, away it goes to the upside. That's that's really all it was. So you watch, you've got higher bottoms, higher tops, you're in an uptrend. If you got lower bottoms, lower tops, you're in a downtrend. That's the bottom line of what we're paying attention to. So neither here nor there. That's all it can be. It's nothing more, nothing less. Let's take a last one is coffee. This one's got a chance, folks. I don't know what it's doing today, but boy, on Friday, it made a perfect 61% retracement. I don't know what coffee's doing today. I haven't had a chance to update it with all the other stuff I'm looking at, but this is really important right here because we're considerably above that area where we were going to make it the trade of the year. And, of course, that broke even, went a little bit lower, and then had the explosive move to the upside. Now we're having the pullback right here. <clears throat> I call that a second-chance opportunity if you trade coffee, because if we're not sharply lower today, we got a chance to see that coffee uh, start to move higher, as most people who stay up all night watching these charts have to drink a lot of it. And frankly, that's not me. I don't. I get up off and on, but I don't stay up all night. That's just uh, that's a suicide mission, and you don't want to stand in front of that son of a gun. That's no good at all. So, anyway, I hope this helps. Uh, we're going to take a break here in just a few. Let's check my my old timer on the clock here to see what we've got. We probably got another 
two minutes or something, and one minute left to go. Uh, no calls coming in. Al said, don't even bother now. He said, the lines are lit up so high that you can't do very much. Ah, here's what I wanted to show you. This is the, this is the dynamite triangles for soybean oil on the downside. And believe me, these are tradable. I don't do them, but I might start after looking at them. But look at when you draw these lines and you say, where do you draw your line? You draw your line from where you have the rally. You see those rallies? There's where you draw your line. You have the rally, boom, you draw your line. You see that? That's a valid trend line break and boom, here's a false one. This one, well, you wouldn't have, you would have broken even on that probably. But then see that little move right there? In a real strong trending market, and remember, this is an hourly chart, so it takes four or five hours to complete that pattern. So try it. See if you like it. You might like it. Who knows? 877-927-6648. We'll be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. Okay, folks, a great treat for you. In another six minutes, you're going to be talking to the master himself. Tom Sr. will be on uh, talking to us about these markets. Uh, markets are rallying back near the high of the day in the Dow Jones. Uh, Russell is still, uh, it's about unchanged now, actually. And then the NASDAQ is still down. The S&P is up. So it's only one of the indices is down, which is the NASDAQ. And it was down 150 points at one time. So it's come back well over 100 points, which is a sign of more strength coming in. Uh, again, I urge you to keep a 
close eye on the banking stocks, both the big ones like J.P. Morgan, Morgan Stanley, Goldman Sachs, Wells Fargo, and Bank of America, and watch those stocks, how they uh, react to these news announcements that are going to be coming down the pike because this banking system thing is not – it's not over by a long shot, folks. When they tell you that there's no problem, that means there's a problem. Because if there was no problem, they wouldn't even bother to answer the question. But the fact that they tell you that there's no problem, I've been to that dance before, and I hated to tell you, but I had to go home by myself because I listened to what they had to say, and that's no fun on a Saturday night when you're 13 years old living in Terre Haute, Indiana. You just don't want to have that happen to you again. So be careful what they tell you. They can give you a lot of information, misinformation, but they can hide from you, but they can't hide very long. You know why? Because the prices are going up. There's more buyers. Prices are going up. There's more sellers. And uh, going down, there's more sellers. And that's what you really need to know. Always protect your backside because nobody else is going to do it for you. That's why the folks here at TFNN try to give you the best ideas of what we're looking for. Some of them work, some of them don't. But that's what we're paying attention to today as we look at these things uh, rallying into the close. So stay tuned for Tom O'Brien and his uh, end of the day show. And I think we'll have a great time tomorrow. And uh, we'll have uh, our guest tomorrow will be Stan Harley of the Harley Stock Market Letter. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude. And may God bless. 